All right, guys, so here we are back in AutoCAD Architecture 2020. That's the version I'm using. And so today we're going to be creating some additional views and get some deeper understanding of how to use the views manager inside of the views tab. All right. All right. So in the previous episode, I think it was episode 12. That's where we went through and would have created all of these views you're looking at here. So we do have a 3D view, which is the one I currently have open. And we also have, you know, all the other views that we will need, including some sectional elevations and a couple of details and so on and so forth. So all we need are a couple of other details to wrap up our views and then we can start to add details to these views such as dimensions annotations and that kind of stuff and then after that's done we would add them to our sheets where they would then be printed all right the views we'll be adding are detailed views okay we do have three details so far as you can see down here, we do have an eave detail. We have foundation footing detail, and we also have the ridge detail. And if I should open this drawing up, you can see that we have all three views right here. All right. And these were taken from our uh, sectional elevation views. So if I open this guy up, you can see that we have three callouts. We do have the eave footing and the ridge and calling these out with their bubbles. Um, they show up in this drawing because this is where we place them. And as we place these views on sheets, these uh, fields here will be populated with numbers. And also these will become populated with the sheet number and the drawing number itself. All right. So it is within this drawing that we are going to add some additional views all right now if you click on each of these drawings you can see that they do have this box around them that's the boundary of the view so only what is within this box will show on your page when you go to print likewise with this one so of course we're gonna have to probably extend this one a little bit more because we're gonna need to add some labels and stuff to that but we're going to talk about that now the additional details that we're going to be adding i have already created them as you can see these are all the different types of columns that we have used throughout this building so i do have each of them here we're going to show the steel work inside of them and these are the three drainage components that we've used um, in this drawing and also I have gone ahead and drawn some sectional views these are just lines really I drew these manually um, so the difference is here that these were taken from or let's say in reference to a particular drawing all right so we did pull these ones off of another drawing but these ones over here they're not being pulled from any drawing at all we i just literally copied these inside of here and i literally drew these lines one by one to get to this point and we are going to actually use these to create views so that they can populate over here as well all right so one of the first things I like to do is to create a grid layout in this drawing so that I can um, organize my, you know, my details a little better. So far, it doesn't look bad. It's all laid out in a straight line going across. But what if we could take it up another notch? What I'm going to do is to create a layout grid. So as you type that command in there, you'll see it come up. Here it is. Click on it and we're going to click on add. And so we have this grid box coming up and you could define your box over here, how, uh, how big you want each uh, box to be. So I'm going to make it 10 feet by 10 feet and I'm going to just drop um, this box maybe down here. It's not a bad spot. And then of course I want it to be flat. So I'm going to turn on my author mode and make sure that it's laying flat. Essentially what I'm going to do is to place each drawing in one of these boxes just to lay them out nicely so i can uh, see where each of them is i can quickly go to the one that i want so this don't worry about the grid it won't be printed it's on a layer that is not 
printable so don't worry about that basically what i'll be doing is to just move each of these into one of the boxes all right and you want to place them at a spot where you know you have space on the other side like this one to add your uh, details i might need to move this down a little bit more all right i might need to move this down a little bit more this one now i have a lot of space above to add stuff i'm gonna drop this guy down here move that down all right now i kind of want to add an extra box over here so i'm going to pull this out a little bit of course i could pull this all the way out to create more grids up or across depending on how you want to lay your stuff out but i just want one more to just drop the square column in so all my columns are there and then i'm going to drop these guys now in a box by themselves of course, I was considering placing each view in a separate box, but I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to put both of these in one box. Um, going to do the same thing with this. And we're going to do the same thing with this. So now we can see that all of our details are now laid out nicely. We don't have to worry about, um, you know stuff going missing we don't know where this is or we don't know where that is everything is laid out nicely and of course if you had more details we could utilize the rest of the boxes here now if i click on this one you can see that the view boundary is not confined to the grid that i have made and rightly so because these were created long before this video so what we could do is to just redefine the boundaries by just you know dragging these out so that they're, they're not overlapping into other territories all right um we could do the same thing here look at that this one is all the way over into that so what i could do here instead of using these what i could do is to go to the uh, views tab and go over to our views manager and from here if i should open this up we can see that we do have all three views so far which are these three here all right and from this tab we can do a lot of things we can change the name we can uh we can you know change the style blah 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 um, one thing we cannot do however is to change the scale so bear that in mind when you're creating these views you need to set your scale before you create the views but don't worry you're going to see how i do that so at this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename these i'm going to put the detail at the beginning all right and i also want to edit the boundaries so i'm going to say edit boundaries and i click on that it grays out everything and shows you uh, the boundaries of this view now i want to redefine it to the confines of my grid so now i'm gonna draw a box to define my new boundary and just like that i now have new boundaries for my view enter and that's done i'm gonna go to this one i'm gonna rename it i'm just gonna put the word detail at the front instead of the back i think we did that one already so i'm gonna move to the ridge detail and then i'm gonna edit the boundaries of my ridge of course i want it to take the shape of the, the box there and i'm gonna hit enter then i'm gonna say apply and then i'm gonna say okay so now you can see that each of these are now taking the shape of the box. And so what this allows now is for all of my views to have the same size. Of course, these ones won't need the entire box, but I'm going to use the entire box here for the meantime. We can always shrink them by uh, redefining the boundaries. The titles here should update to the new names that were done here. Um, but for some reason they are not 
So what I will do is to probably delete them and redo them. But I'm going to hold on a little bit first. If I go back to my project navigator, you'll see that the names have been updated here. So that's a good step. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and create some new views. So what I'm going to do is click on this button here that says new and I'm going to give it a name detail I stiffener and we can adjust a couple of things. I tend to just leave it as it is. I'm going to define my window. So click on that. Of course, this window would be this box. Enter and I usually say I'll just leave it at none leave it as that yeah so that one's done i'm gonna create a new one for call this detail t stiffener define my window enter so, okay new l stiffener define enter This one now I'm going to say detail six inches square column, define window, enter. All right, so all of these have been completed and as you do them, you will see them being populated inside of your drop down here. Also, if I go to my view manager, you will see them all being populated over here. All right, so that's the wonderful thing. Now, I did make one mistake, guys, one huge mistake, and that was to not change my scale. All right, so what you see here is that I've created these stiffener or column details at a uh, half inch scale, which is not the scale that I want them to be at. I actually want them to be at a one and a half inch scale. So you know what I'm gonna have to do now? I'm gonna have to delete all of these that I have just created. Delete, delete that, delete that, and delete that. Hit okay. Change my scale first to one and a half. That's the scale I want these guys to be at. And then I'm going to go ahead and redo them. Now I'm going to fast forward the video to the end of this. All right, so there we go. We have all uh, four of those being created on the correct scale this time. Thank you, Lord. T, all right, beautiful. What we're gonna do is to go ahead and drop the titles. So let's go to annotate and go over to title. You can choose the one that you wanna use. I like to use the one with the bubble, with the number on it. So go ahead and as you can see, they all light up like light bulb. And we can add a title to anyone. So these three I already have, which I'm going to redo sometime later. But I'm going to just add the ones I want to these. I'm going to add them a little closer to the drawing itself. If you notice, they're really small. And that's fine because of the scale. That's what they will look like. And you have to add them on the one and a half inch scale, guys. You can't change the scale and then add them. That's going to mess up the whole thing. All right, so let's add all of these titles here. And as you can see that the title takes the name of whatever we had typed in earlier and it applies the scale to it as well. So there we have that, and we have that, and we have that. Perfect, lovely. All right, we're gonna do these ones now and we need to change the scale back to half inch because that's the scale I want these to be at and then we're going to say view new and we're going to call this manhole 
no this is actually grease trap basin and we're going to say define window it's going to be this enter okay i'm going to do the same thing here i'm going to call this trap call it basin define window boom enter okay gonna do the last one detail manhole like the abbreviation inside of it but whatever I'll leave it right there all right lovely of course we're gonna go to annotate and add our title this time I'm gonna add the title all the way at the bottom because I want to have enough space to to put some stuff above so we do have our detail grease trap basin trap gully basin and our manhole detail here all right so now you can see that we have all our details laid out beautifully um if we go to our views manager we can see them all being listed here um, we can change the name we can do this we can do that you have seen that before they are now populated over here as well and one other thing that you didn't know is that we could quickly go to the one that we want by going here so let's say i want to focus on the ridge it brings me to the ridge if i say all right i want to now focus on the manhole it takes me there um you know i like to play with this a little bit you know just to see how it zooms out and zoom in so there we go guys that is how you create views later on in our next video we will actually go through and add details so right now this is just the rough work for our additional views so go ahead and click the save button where is it save and yeah we're all we're all ready to go all right guys so that's it for this video and that's all the views we're going to be creating not going to touch them anymore next video we're going to be detailing and then we're going to drop them on some sheets and then stick around to find out what's next all right So thank you for watching and if it's your first time here and if you learned something hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and you know drop a comment ask a questions and i also want to big up my patrons over on my patreon page so if you didn't know now you know check the links in the description and uh yeah just check it out see if there's anything over there that you might be interested in you never can tell you know what i mean so thanks again for watching and big up on yourself and i will see you guys in the next video cool All right.